Here we are in the Humber College Recital Hall, which is also a gorgeous, gorgeous recording space. The noise floor is low and the acoustics are exceptional. And we're doing a recording session, an immersive specific recording session for a band called Schmaltz and Pepper, which features some of my favorite musicians in the world from here in Toronto. It's a five-piece ensemble, and the goal of this recording project, um, and what I would say is like our first immersive artist in residence uh, as a part of the immersive production class, is to record the ensemble, but also record them with immersive intent. And so our Atmos studio, which is just down the hall, which is a 7.1.4 speaker system, allows us to really not only, of course, record, but learn about what it means to record with immersive intent. So what we have is piano, uh, violin and vocals, double bass, violin and bandonium, and clarinet. So a five-piece ensemble, and the orchestration is something that I talked about with the artists in advance. So we have sort of bass and piano, the low end sort of dispersing in the front of the stage, vocals and lead violin, which is Rebecca is like dead center, and then bandonian, uh, which is a harmonic instrument and violin, sort of flanking the piano on the opposite side to create balance, uh, as well as then clarinet being here. So the perspective for the listener is though they're sitting right here. And how we achieve that is with this particular microphone collection or this array which is seven microphones on the lower level and four microphones on the upper level. The seven on the bottom are cardioid microphones by Sheps, they're MK4s, and the upper four are DPA 4006s, which are an omnidirectional microphone. And what we do is these are all equidistant to the center point, which you can imagine is like the center of your head as a listener. And by doing that, on the other side, when we're listening and when we're mixing, you can take each of these microphone signals and just place them in the speakers one to one. And as a result, when we're sitting in the chair and listening in the other room, it feels exceptionally real, as though you're just sitting right here with the musicians. And what we've worked hard to do is to actually have them spatialized around the array in a way that feels authentic to their music and, and to the compositions. So on top of that, we do have spot mics and close mics. And that's because the ensemble still wants to have a sense of intimacy. If we only record with the array, it can give an incredible acoustic presence but they want to have the closeness and the sort of high fidelity of the voice um, and of the, of the respective instruments. And also, realistically, the volume of, let's say, bandonian or voc vocals versus piano is quite a bit of range there dynamically. So the spot mics will allow us to sort of rise things up in, the, in volume uh, at a mix stage if we need. I mean, it's just a dream to listen to on the other side um, and to get to work with the artists while they come into the room and listen to it and give feedback and actually move the musicians. And this is really, you know, taking a lot of inspiration from a, some engineers uh, who I am quite inspired by, or is Morton Lindbergh and Hien Cook Lee, who have done incredible work with this kind of array while also bringing in spot mics for a modern recording. But then on this side, we're bringing in another layer, which is also capturing the hall. If, for instance, this was an orchestra recording, uh, some of the earlier surround recordings of orchestras, some of my favorite recordings. Uh, this is a five channel array that can sort of associate itself with like 5.1. And a lot of film scores have been recorded with this kind of microphone orientation. Definitely the three up top, which is like a deca tree kind of formation. And what this does is gives the perspective of someone sitting in the first row or the second row listening to an ensemble. And so we've worked on it so that the phase relationships, we can actually choose any of them. Um, so this particular array is three Neumann M149s in Omni, two Neumann M50s, uh, sorry, M150s. The M50s are the originals and very hard to come by. So this is an omnidirectional array, and actually this is directly inspired by the lead engineer at Skywalker Sound, Leslie Ann Jones, who has 
show me recordings that are just breathtaking using this kind of recording. Uh, the microphones are exceptional. They're, you know, large diaphragm tube mics. And so what we're finding is that by blending these two together, this, ar this array combined with close mics and that array brings up the size of the room and brings up the low end of the room because the low frequencies sort of bloom at this point in the space. So it's super clean up here, which is actually really nice. It means that we can be very articulate with levels where this is just glue. Um, and then beyond that, there's two other points of capture, which are the coals, a left, right sort of AB pair in the back. That was based on the students walking around the room um, and just saying it sounds awesome here. And it does. So if it sounds great, put some mics. And so we've panned those right now in the mix in the very back. And there's actually quite a timing delay from let's say where bass is on stage to that point. So it, it almost brings up a bit of a slap back kind of feeling and that the, in the sense of the mix, it's as if you're elongating the hall when you turn them up. And then there are also height channels that are, uh, there are four microphones hanging from the ceilings, which are built into this room in XY uh, so that we can, they're used in a live context, so we have audience and like just a pair on the stage, but we're using them as height channels um, as well in the Atmos system. So yeah, it's just such a cool opportunity. And then from a learning experience, we're gonna have the chance in class and, and even beyond to solo this or solo that and hear how this array sounds, hear how this behaves, how do close mics behave? Can we use all of these microphones? I mean, this is still a, it's a recording session, but all the students are here are part of the process. So having a blast.